Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here and welcome back to a new video. I'm so excited to talk about this one. It might have came like a little bit later than intended, but it's because there's just so many um, videos that are already filmed. So I had to like put those out first before this one, but I'm super excited to talk about this. And I decided to dedicate a whole video for this instead of just a small portion of the best looks, just because if it's over five looks, I'm like, okay, I need to dedicate a full video on this. And also some of you newer subscribers were just talking in the comments that you do like these fashion videos more. Well, I have been doing them for like a while now, I think for like over a year. So I decided to compile a whole playlist on the events so you can go back and watch these similar videos. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe, check out the description box for the names of all these actors, actresses. And let's just jump on into it. So honestly, they didn't go full glam, which I expected with the other previous events in like episode, I think 69, 70, which made sense because it was like the Sanya beach event, which was more cute and chill. But this year with the L style awards, the theme was oriental. So you saw a lot of like luxurious retro looks linking back to like more classic Chinese style, which I love. I am a little bit disappointed in the men's section though, just because everything was very basic black or white. It was very predictable. And aside from like two of the guys, no one really tried. And also a fun fact is that despite how beautiful everyone looks, this event was an actual mess. Like I was following the news and it was canceled halfway because the live show portion, you know, with the health condition globally right now um, there were so many actors actresses photographies there that they didn't want to overwhelm them with a live crowd so that did make sense however the way they handled it so last minute was very bad so there was like a lot of incidents where a lot of people didn't get the memo so a lot of them did not like come for the red carpet itself nor did they attend any other portions so most of the stars were kind of left in the dark. Yangmi was one of them. She did attend the red carpet though, which is great. But there was like supposed to be a whole other set of events afterwards, like an after party where you're supposed to chill with everyone. But because of the confusion and the time constraints, I don't think she got an invite. And yeah, a lot of stars just sat major portions of the event out, which really sucks. Okay, let's start off with the two men that actually tried to do something interesting. We have Jang Bin Bin, which had an embroidered suit. It's classy, but a tiny bit different due to the little, like, I think is it like a dragon embroidery? It matches the theme. We love people who follow the theme and actually listen to the theme. Great. And we have Ren Hao with this green suit and he's not wearing a shirt underneath, which is pretty cool and it like changes things up. I honestly hope that we get more like male stylists similar to these ones. You don't have to do too much like Ren Hao, but it does match the theme if you're thinking of like retro, retro style colors in like the 90s. So that makes sense. Okay, let's go to the woman because there's too many to talk about. Let's start off with Zhang Chushi, who was in this gold dress with her killer body. She's so beautiful. I love the full metallic golden moment. And I also love a good wavy classy hair with the slick bangs moment. The fan adds another touch that relates to the oriental theme, which I really like. And her other look is this beautiful blush pink satin dress with flowers all over it. I love the duality, especially in looks when you're wearing one or two or three looks to an event. Um, this one is really dainty and pretty, while the other one is more glam and bold. Next is Song Ju Er in this princess style gown. It's like this white cream. There's some designs on the top half. And honestly, it's not too unique. But based off of her more trendier looks on other red carpets, I think this is one of the few girlier ones that she tried. So she always looks cute. I appreciate the hair up moment. We don't get too much of that on the red carpet these days. Her other dress is a bit more unique. I guess she was going for a lantern shape with like a fluffy neckline. Next, let's talk about actress Sun Yi Han, which I just recently fell in love with this year when I watched her in A Couple of Mirrors. I highly recommend it. It's 12 episodes. It's a GL love story. Very unique for Chinese dramas in general. I love the flapper girl style here. And we have like around two or three similar vibes. 
this year, which I'm excited to talk about. Next, I love the headpiece on her. Next is Mao Xiao Tong, the other retro flapper girl look. And she looks super elegant and pretty. I especially love that it's a full lace ensemble and the lacing is done really well. Like you can see her skin underneath and I don't know, it just matches the whole look. Looks so good together. It is daring if you think about it and it is skin tight. I love that the headpiece is incorporated as well. So pretty, so well done. Gina Jin's next two looks are so pretty as well, but my personal favorite is the black one. Honestly, you cannot do wrong with Gina Jin. She's like Nini. For me, where every time I look at her, I'm like, wow, she looks really good no matter what the dress is. But this one, it's a little bit glammed up. It's a little bit different. I like the hair. I like the makeup. And for the most part, makeup in like, Asian countries or Chinese style is very like just classy hair and a red bold lip but honestly it looks good with everything so I'm not complaining the other dress is more glammed up it's a champagne dress it's cute too but it's not my favorite we have Song Yuchi with two looks and she looks good as well I like the first one with the crescent moon neckline and the contrast with the tall bottom I wish like there was something a bit more unique with this maybe she could have done like a headpiece or something but it doesn't stand out too much she still looks good though her other look is a bit more casual for me but it's more elegant so i guess it does create a good contrast among all of the longer gowns so she does stand out in that sense and i like the color her hair she looks really pretty so the next three looks aren't looks that um, I would say would be the most like outstanding looks or would make you turn your heads or anything but they did kind of go with the theme in their own way which I appreciate so first we have Leo Tao with a black and red dress this goes with the oriental theme and it makes sense I feel like if you just cut off the top or the bottom alone I would kind of like hate it but together it looks okay we have Jelly Lin or Lin Yin with this purple dress. It's really cute with the little headband. And I think the fluffy um, bottom reminds me of um, not specifically like flapper girl style or like oriental, but definitely with the retro brand. And I always appreciate a good pop of color on the red carpet. Fujing also showed up in a very classic satin red dress and honestly this one as i said doesn't stand out so much but she is so pretty and it really is a bodycon dress it really shows off her curves she looks great it gives me like classic hollywood vibes and two more honorable mentions or looks that i want to talk about before we get into probably my top three and also a little reminder that these videos take forever to like just research find the photos put together so i would definitely appreciate it if you already subscribed and you turn on that notification bell to all so you don't miss out on future videos it's because a lot of my videos don't show up in your subscription feed at all unless you turn on the notification bell which really sucks when i put in hours of work and research into these videos and for extra support links in the description box below you can buy me a coffee there but yeah let's talk about guan xiao tong and liu shi shi liu shi shi honestly it's not my favorite look it kind of reminds me of a mop if i'm honest but like a pretty mop either way um i do get the call back to like retro themes i don't think that it's too oriental but since a lot of actors and actresses interpret it like as just retro in general i guess this look would make sense the other look is guan xiao tong she was in like this blue and silver dress honestly it kind of looked tacky in some photos but on this photo in particular it kind of grew on me so i decided to talk about it i love the little headband and i would describe this as like a glammed up cinderella look Saving my top three for last um, in probably no particular order just because I love these all in different ways and they are all different. So first we have Cheng Xiao. This is a plunging gemmed deep heart neckline and this gown gave me so much life. I literally downloaded way too many photos of this event but specifically the last three actresses that I saved. Their looks are just amazing and it's probably gonna be feeding my thumbnails for the next few weeks. I love the dark blue here and i also like that despite like usually there's only more like heavy focus on the top 
and then the bottom is kind of like plain but I appreciate that it's not the case with this one and it's a different design and usually it would be a little bit distracting but because of the dark blue color I think it really works I love the deep blue necklace that fits with the top of the dress as well and her hair looks good her makeup looks great as usual we also have Yang Mi next and she had two looks but I'm honestly just gonna talk about the best one which is the silver bling bling ensemble she looks very expensive and classy at the same time beautiful and perfect from basically every angle is this a common look that you would usually see on a red carpet in the West? Um, Hollywood wise, yes, but for Chinese events, not really. You usually see them wearing like, if they're wearing bling, it's either like in a very big gown style, but this one it's more fitted and I think it just suits her. She looks really cool at the same time probably because there's pockets in this and the cape, the glittery cape that goes all the way to the end of her feet is just beautiful. And last but never least is Doraba. Her two dresses are really pretty. Honestly, she can't do anything wrong to be honest, but we definitely have to focus on the pink one, which deserves all the attentions and probably all the awards, especially after I saw the full picture with the flared um, tail, like in a circle with the blue embroidered like little flowers and designs. So beautiful, so unique. And you really have to give it to her because this is probably the most unique one I've ever seen her do except for that was it the Weibo awards where she had like her hair in a wig and then like this fluffy beautiful coat on the outside that one was unique as well and she really stepped up for that but this one I think the design in the dress itself is what I'm talking about the details if you look at it it's unique because usually with lantern puffy stuff you see like the full shoulder to the sleeve or like a shoulder puffy lantern moment but this time we have just her arms and the rest is like an off the shoulder heart line bodycon dress and then it flares out again at the bottom you can also see like her earrings are gigantic and she really tried. I don't know if they're mismatching, but in some photos they look a bit mismatched and it's probably on purpose. They do match with her glove as well. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a glove or like a huge just bracelet handpiece, but it looks beautiful either way. Very glammed up, but at the same time, it doesn't look too in your face. I'm trying too hard because of the color. I think the mauve pink color just works really well. And honestly, short hair Doraba might be my favorite just because she looks so cool and chic. And that wraps it up for this video. I had so much fun making it. And for more fashion stuff, um, recent fashion stuff, I did include them in the previous few C-Drama News updates video. So check that out after this one if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know your favorite look of the night or your top like three or five looks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.